morning, anyway, so I've been introduced. My name is Jeremy Hertzberg. How many of you have seen a real ROV? How big is it? Very large. Really large. Very large. You know, like something about the size of Volkswagen, there's some about the size of Fred Box. There's some that make this building look small. And part of what you're doing in the scout class is you're building a mini ROV. This is a full-on camera from an ROV. Obviously, if you hung this off your scout system, you would sink straight to the bottom, maybe over. <laughs> so what we're going to do today is go ahead and build a much smaller replica of that that functions equally well using the Anaconda camera. And that's where Matt, the expert on this, is going to guide you. Okay, so everyone, for every other camera you're doing, you're going to get a box. I'm going to suggest the first thing you do is open the box. It's going to have three components in it. One is your camera with, I believe, 60 feet of cable. You're going to have a little pigtail, which uh, the camera connects into, and then this connects into the TV. And you are going to have a power source. So the first thing is make sure you have all the right pieces. Okay? And a suggestion is, the first thing you should do is plug into this camera into your pigtail because this is a part that breaks the most. This is a little plastic piece right here, so we say plug it in and leave it in, and you'll uh, solve a lot of uh, the difficulties that you'll have, okay? So this is your camera inside here, and the first thing you want to do is grab a small screwdriver, and everyone's going to have some small screwdrivers in your workshop, and on the back of this, you can see there are two screws. This gray plastic housing we don't want. It's just excess. So we are going to unscrew this. There's one. And you might want to look hard if you don't see a second one. Oftentimes it's hiding under one of the uh, one of the little stickers on the back of here. So you can take that off. And you'll notice it just pulls right apart. Like that. This front part comes off. And you can just, here's the lens of your camera, the black little part there. You can just give that a little push. And this front panel comes all the way off. And what you're going to notice, though, is this is your camera. There's also the uh, black, as you look in here, there's a black and white wire in here. That goes to a little microphone. So these cameras actually have microphones on. Now, normally we say, pull those out if you break it. Um, it doesn't matter. But this year, who here is in Ranger class? Some of you. One of your missions, of course, is listening for a sound. So we might want to try and get this microphone out intact. I can't guarantee that it'll work for the mission, but it's better than uh, losing it. So I'm going to be as careful as I can when I get this little microphone out. There it came out, and that's what the microphone looks like right there. Okay, so this is what you have so far. You have wires coming in, and that's the front part of the panel, which we are going to throw in the trash. Now for the rest of this, we all we want is this camera and this microphone. So all the rest of this gray plastic housing, we don't need. So we are gonna cut it out. So you have some big wire cutters here. And we're going to snip this apart as best as possible. Now you do wanna be careful that you don't snip the wires. We're just cutting the plastic, not the wires here. So this is where you wanna be really careful. There is a green, white, red, and yellow wire that we do not wanna cut. And this just takes a little time to, uh, to get it worked out. Always double check to make sure I'm not cutting wires. Get it on the other side. Okay, so this part's off. I go in the garbage. And there's a little bit of black plastic left on here, so I'm just going to trim a little more of it back. Make one the minor correction. Plastic. Safety glasses. <laughs> yep. Sometimes we forget to practice what we preach. If you catch us on that, it's five extra points during your mission, so just keep an eye on these things. And I should not be on the chair, but... <laughs> Okay, so it just pulls out, got it cut, and you'll notice there's a little, there's some glue on here, but there's a little black plastic that goes around the wires. We actually want to keep that and pull the glue off. That can all go in the garbage, and now we have our camera and our microphone.
Okay, so the next thing we want to do is set the focal length of this camera. Essentially, we can focus it far out or we can focus it in. And so we are going to plug it into a TV here. Get the power, and I'm going to talk a little bit about power later. Right now, this is plugging into AC power, but during the mission, you're actually going to have to put it, uh, we're going to talk about how you can convert it to DC because you have to use DC. I'm going to plug it into video. We're also going to plug in the audio. Power cable right here, and when you're ready to do this, you can come over and one of us will be at the TV. I'm going to turn that on. Turn the TV on and hope this works. There we go. Was on, I turned it off. Okay, so there you go. So what we want to do is I'm gonna use this, got some little words here. Okay, let me set that there. Yep, it's upside down. That's the other thing you'll want to mark. But you'll notice if I get in really close, it starts getting blurry. Pretty good about right there if I had steady hands. And then as you get further back, still a blurry. So this one is set. The focal length, so when it's in focus, is what? Somewhere right in about there? Yeah. Does that look good? You can read it says Anaconda camera. Color. Color, yep. So this focal length is about a foot and a half, uh, probably 40 centimeters, and that's probably pretty good. When you're in the water, that's generally about where you want to be focused on things um, to, see, to see things, you know, if you have to read something for your missions. So this is good. So this focal length is good. Plug everything. And so what we want to do next is before I turn this, we want to put a little bit of glue on here. You'll notice this turns, and we don't want it to turn anymore because the focal length is good. So we're going to use a little five-minute epoxy. So a little bit from the red bottle. A little bit from the blue bottle, the same amount, 50-50. And we don't need much for this. And then we're going to get something to stir it with. And how epoxy works, are you guys familiar with how these kind of epoxies work? There's two things. Together, uh, when you mix them together, in, for this one, in five minutes, it'll be pretty hard. So I'm going to mix it together. And then I'm just going to put a little dab right on there, and when this dries, that means this, this, the, the lens won't turn anymore, so it's going to keep that focal length at about 40 centimeters, foot, a foot and a half or so. Okay? And so one that, trick is I like to keep the epoxy that I mixed around to see how hard it is. That's true, yeah. Because I can come back and test yep. it. When, when the stuff I mixed here, when this gets hard on the paper, that's going to mean that's hard. Just a little trick so you don't have to mess with that. And just want to point out on this one, red cap always goes with the red, blue cap always goes with the blue. You mix those up, the caps are going to stick to the top of it. Okay?